as built for AutoCAD. Tutorial Image Rectification by Control Points After this tutorial, you will be able to import control points and define a rectification plane. Load a photo and assign control points to image points. Rectify a photo by removing central perspective distortion and clip and merge photos to one complete image plan. Notice, for demonstration purposes, we will speed the video up in certain areas. If significant changes are made, we will review them and resume the video speed. First download the tutorial image rectification data from the As-Built Getting Started page. Open a new drawing and start by inserting control points. On the As-Built Photo tab, go to Control Points and select Import. Select File Format to inform the software about the format of your control points file. Which information can be found in which column of the file? On this dialog, you can find values to be imported, separator, decimal separator, units, and shift XYZ and unit of control points. Confirm your settings by clicking OK. Browse to the control points file tut3 underscore control, click Open and OK. The control points are found on the facades, so the approximate outline of the building can be made out. To better read the control point numbers, run the Change Size of Control Points command. Leave the drawing unit in meters and change the block size factor to 4. Define the rectification plane. Click Define from the UCS area. Select the first of the two options, Vertical UCS, since we will rectify photos of a facade. Click Next. Now, select the control points that define the rectification plane. The sketch, cp underscore sketch underscore south dot ping, shows the points needed. Click Add, and in the drawing, select the points 73, 101, 12, 71, 100, 13, 72, 74, and 14. Confirm by pressing Enter. Set the origin of the new UCS in positive x-axis. After looking at the sketch, select 101 as origin and 100 for the direction of the x-axis. Click Next. Enter a name for the rectification plane UCS, Facade, and click Finish. Load the photos in the drawing. Go to the Image area and click the Load command. Select Southern Facade 1 and click Open. Place the image to the right of the control points. Repeat the steps to load Southern Facade 2 and place it to the left of the control points. Now the drawing is prepared to assign the control points to the corresponding points in the photos. In the Rectification by Control Points area, click Rectification of Photos. Then click New and select the photo on the right. Click Add Redefine. Now follow the command line prompts. Select the first control point block, 71, in the drawing. Look at the sketch, cp underscore sketch underscore south dot ping, to see where the control points are in the photo. Click two points to zoom into the image point. Zoom into the window and click the point in the photo. Do the same steps for the other five control points. Note, the more accurate you pick the points in the photo, the better will be the accuracy of the rectified result. After four pairs of control points and corresponding image points, the software can automatically zoom to the next image point when a control point is selected. Press Enter to finish assigning control points. In the Control Points list, the point pair with the highest deviation is highlighted. You can select and deactivate single control points to improve the statistics of the results. Click the ellipse to select a path and enter a name for the resulting rectified image. Click Rectify to start the computation. Now that the rectified photo is inserted, you can delete the original image, select it, and press Delete. Repeat the process for the second photo. Click Rectification of Photos, then click New and select a photo. Click Add Redefine to assign the control points to the image. Look at the sketch, cp underscore sketch underscore south dot ping, to see where the control points are in the photo. Note, the accuracy of the image rectification also depends on the resolution of the photos as well as on the accuracy of the control point coordinates captured in the field. Press Enter to finish assigning control points. In the control points list, the point pair with the highest deviation is highlighted. It is possible to redefine the control points to the image point. 
You can select and deactivate single control points to improve the statistics of the results. Click the ellipse to select a path and enter a name for the resulting rectified image. Click Rectify to start the computation. Click Save. Now that the rectified photo is inserted, delete the unrectified original. A typical characteristic of photo rectification is now clearly visible. In the facade plane, the two rectified photos fit together exactly, while at the roof or the window crosses, we find larger jumps. This is because the rectification only applies to the area of rectification plane. All projecting or recessed parts of the building, such as the roof or window crosses, are not displayed to scale in the rectified image. Before, as well as after the rectification process, it makes sense to limit the image to a certain area. In our tutorial, we clip the rectified partly overlapping images to remove all non-relevant parts, for example background, to prepare the merging of the images. On the As Built Photo tab, go to the image area and click Clip Image. Follow the command line prompts. Select the photo. Select the points option from the command line and click the points for the clipping boundary. Click the close option, then finish. Repeat the steps for the second photo. To merge both images, go to the image computation area and click merge. If you do not see the images in the list, click add and select them in the drawing. Click Options and select the Automatic Brightness Correction option. This option adjusts the mean brightness and color levels of all images to be merged. Click the ellipse to select a path and enter a name for the resulting merged image. Click Save. Click Merge to start the computation. The result is a true-to-scale photo mosaic. You can measure true distances in it or draw CAD geometry on top of it. In this tutorial, you learned how to import control points and define a rectification plane. Load a photo and assign control points to image points. Rectify a photo by removing central perspective distortion and clip and merge photos to one complete image plan.